Hello, 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 hello. Today, Doppler shift. The first part is easy. Doppler shift of sound. Probably all of you have covered that in high school. Second part is relativistic Doppler shift. That's not so easy. In any case, by all means, do your homework, consult the web, learn about Doppler shift. That's not cheating at all. That's really what I want because I'm teaching physics and I was always hoping that these problems would help you to cover areas that you may have forgotten or maybe learned for the first time. You ready? There we go. This is a horizontal surface. Here is a car and the car is moving with two-thirds the speed of sound in this direction. C here is the speed of sound. It has nothing to do with the speed of light. At room temperature, the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second. So, two-thirds of the speed of sound is a little more than 800 kilometers per hour. And here is a car which is moving in the opposite direction with one-third the speed of sound. This car is producing a frequency with a tuning fork or maybe with a tone generator of 1000 Hz. So if you were to stand on that car and you measure in your reference frame what the frequency is of that sound, you would measure 1000 Hz. And I call that f of zero. That is my definition of f of zero. Now the question that I have is, what is the frequency that a person standing on this car would record if it were recorded accurately uh, with a frequency analyzer, not just with your ear, I presume. And I'd like that answer with about three digit precision. That's your first answer. Now, we are going to, by the way, T stands for transmitter. It transmits the sound and R stands for receiver. So the sound leaves here and arrives here. Now I'm going to reverse the roles. I'm going to make this car the transmitter and this car the receiver. So the receiving car is now going with two thirds the speed of sound in this direction and the transmitting car is now moving with one third the speed of sound in this direction. In the frame of reference of this car, it generates sound with a frequency F0 with a thousand hertz. And the question now is, what is the frequency that the receiver will record, and I call that F prime, due to the sound that is generated here. High school physics, not so difficult. So, I want you answer number one, and I want you answer number two, and you have to distinguish that very clearly for me. So this I call case one, where this is the transmitter, and this the receiver, and this is answer two, where this is the transmitter, and this is the receiver. Now we're going to make it a little bit more difficult. Relativistic Doppler shift. I stand here on a planet. And to remind you that I stand here, I put a W there for Walter. Very, very far away from me is a planet which is called after Pythagoras. 
and in the exact opposite direction is another planet which is called after Einstein. This planet is generating radio waves with a frequency of one gigahertz. So when you are on this planet and you measure the frequency of those radio signals, you will measure one gigahertz, 10 to the 9 hertz. You are moving away from me with a speed two-thirds the speed of sound. This C is now the speed of sound. That is 300,000 kilometers per second. The signal that was transmitted by the transmitter here is received by this planet called Einstein and the frequency that is recorded now if you were standing on this planet is F prime. But this planet is moving in this direction with speed one third C. So that's 100,000 kilometers per second, that's no peanuts. And now the question is, if here the transmitter transmits at a frequency a gigahertz, 10 to the 9 hertz, what is the frequency that will be recorded, F prime, if you were standing on this planet? By the way, these two planets are not at the same distance from me. This one is much further away, but we will get to that in a minute. So that's going to be answer number three. Now comes answer number four. Now the transmission comes from planet E, Einstein, which is moving with a speed one-third the speed of light in this direction. And it is received now at planet Pythagoras, which is moving with a speed two-thirds the speed of light in this direction. If the frequency as recorded on Einstein's planet is one gigahertz, what now is the frequency that is received on the planet Pythagoras? This I want you to have answer number three. This is answer number four. And again, three-digit precision is okay. If you are happier with two-digit precision, I will accept that. Now comes question number five. And make sure you, you number those questions. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth question is, what is the difference between me Walter Lewin, standing here on this planet and this planet Pythagoras, which is moving away from me with the speed two-thirds the speed of light. What is approximately this distance? Two-digit precision would be great, but I may even accept one-digit precision. So do your homework, use the web, that's not cheating at all. So, we are combining three pieces of physics. Doppler shift of sound, relativistic Doppler shift of electromagnetic radiation. By the way, I hope you realize that this is not sound, of course. These are electromagnetic radiation. These are radio waves, not sound. Sound wouldn't travel through empty space. And then I even include, at my fifth question, a little bit of cosmology. So, you got to work on three different concepts of physics. Good luck. Try to learn some physics. Have a nice day. Take care. And yes, of course, 
as far as I'm concerned, we will still be friends. No question about it.